As you might have read, Microsoft's just released details of its new Internet Explorer 9 web browser. And it's also put a version up online for you to try out. So this is the Internet Explorer 9 beta. It's not the finished browser, but you can download it, put it on your PC and give it a try. And today we're going to show you how it looks and what's new. So here's Internet Explorer 9. Now we've installed it on a Windows 7 computer. You can also add it to Windows Vista provided you've got all the latest updates installed. But unfortunately if you have Windows XP you won't be able to get Internet Explorer 9 at all. You'll be stuck with version 8. Let's have a quick look at the interface. From left to right, up in the top left you'll notice that the back button's been made bigger. Makes sense because it's the one that most of us use the most. Then here's the address bar. Now old versions of Internet Explorer had an address bar where you typed in website addresses that you know, but also a search box. In Internet Explorer 9, they've taken the trick from Google's Chrome browser. There's only one box, so whether you know the address or whether you're typing search words, you put them in this box here. Then we've got tabs, and over on the far right you'll see there's just three options. One to go home, one to access your favorites, and one for tools. Now there are other options hidden away. If I push the Alt key, you'll notice all the old menus appear over here and there they go they've disappeared again so most of the time you shouldn't need to use those at all now the other th key thing about the browser is there's some new tricks to with tabs here's computer Active's website and if I open another page on the website you'll see that just like in Internet Explorer 8 it's actually grouped the two together so they've both been color coded blue so we know they've come from the main website what you couldn't do in Internet Explorer 8 though is grab a tab and drag it away. So I've now taken this off in its own window and because I'm using Windows 7 if I drag it to the right of the screen there we go I can instantly drag it and uh, Windows has split it on the right hand side of my screen there. I can then grab that tab and drop it back into the main browser if I want. So you can move tabs around. That's not completely new other browsers have done it but it's still quite a nice trick. Another key thing about uh, Internet Explorer 9 is that it supports several new standards for websites. These are called HTML5 and CSS3. Now, the key benefit of this is it means that new websites that are coded using these flashy new technologies will actually display properly. And if we open this window here, you'll see this is YouTube, which has an HTML5 site up for you to try out. Here we've got a video of Tim from Computer Active TV. Normally this would play in your browser using a technology called Flash, but in fact here we're using YouTube's HTML5 version. And if I click play, there we go, Tim starts showing off the product. And that's not using any plugins or add-ons in the browser, that's working only using Internet Explorer itself to display the video, so it's quite clever. Now, that kind of thing is all behind the scenes. And there's one other key behind the scenes advantage of Internet Explorer 9. It's much quicker. The main reason for that is a thing called JavaScript. This is a technology that websites, particularly flashy websites, use to build complex pages. And Internet Explorer 9 has a completely new JavaScript engine in it. Now, we haven't yet been able to do any measurements against Firefox and Chrome, again, because this isn't actually the finished version, but it does seem much quicker than Internet Explorer 8. So there you have it. There's a quick guide to IE9. Uh, you'll find the link if you'd like to give it a download and try it yourself just beneath this video.